you raw and uncut. I don't bite my tongue for nobody. Get it together. We keep it real. That'll be more. That'll be more for the man that looks. But hell, he no. can't stop up on the other time. No, some of them can, like, mash them together. But they still can't stop up on the other time. They might like, go. You know, Hey, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Jersey Raven of the Jersey Raven Experience. I want to share an article with you guys today that I read. Shout out to my people over there at PrideRadio.com. Wow, peace and love. Ah, look, get it together. If you haven't already heard, um, read the article word by word to you guys so you guys won't be misinformed or miss, you know, I won't misread anything. Vermont, which is a state, legalizes gay marriage overrides the governor's veto the Vermont House of Representatives base passes the bill by a 100 to 49 vote after it cleared the state Senate 23 to 5 earlier today Vermont lawmakers on Tuesday overrode a veto from the governor in passing a bill that would allow same-sex marriage clearing the way for the state to become the fourth in the nation where gay marriage is legal the Vermont House of Representatives passed the bill by 149 vote after it cleared the state Senate 23 to 5 earlier today. In Vermont, a bill needs two-thirds support in each chamber to override a veto. Damn you, Governor. Damn you. Get it together. Vermont's vote came just four days after Iowa Supreme Court struck down a decade-old law that barred gays from marrying to make that state the first in the U.S. heartland to allow same-sex marriages. Holla! Vermont's gay marriage legislation looked in peril after a vote Thursday in the Democratic-controlled House of Representatives that failed to garner enough support to clear a veto threat from Republican Governor Jim Douglas. Now, I have always said that Republicans are against gay people. If you're a Republican, nine times out of ten, you are against gay. You're anti-gay. Get it together. Damn Republicans. Anyway, continue with my article. California briefly recognized gay marriage until voters banned it in a referendum last year. Now, people... What I do in my bedroom has nothing to do with what you do in yours. I give you that one. Power to the people. Y'all won that one. It ain't over. Trust me when I tell you. Get it together. Vermont, which became the first state in the country to allow full civil unions for same-sex couples in 2000, joined new, joins New England neighbors Connecticut, Massachusetts in allowing gay and lesbian couples to marry. Lawmakers in New Hampshire and Maine are also considering bills to allow gay marriage, putting New England at the heart of a divisive national debate over the issue. Gay and lesbian advocates and defenders, which helped to legalize gay marriage in Massachusetts and Connecticut, has set a goal of expanding gay marriage to all New England states by 2012. We fit in the spread like roaches. Get it together. Maine and New Hampshire earlier offer, excuse me, Maine and New Hampshire already offer same-sex couples some form of legal recognition. Now, with all due respect, if you ain't giving it all to me, bitch, I don't want it. Forty-three U.S. states have laws explicitly. Now they put that bowl. They said explicitly. They didn't say provocatively. They used explicitly prohibiting such marriages, including 29, with constitutional amendments restricting marriage to one man and one woman. Now, I want to know what you guys think about this issue. The state of Vermont, now one of four in the United States where gay marriage is legal. We're spreading. The word is getting out there. Organize. Get it together. I want to know what you guys think. Hit me up with a video response. Post a comment, rate, and subscribe to the Jersey Raven experience. Once again, the state of Vermont has overrode Jim Douglas's, their governor, veto of gay marriage and made it legal. 
Now, I'm sure you know this probably will be appealed by some higher court. And hey, they maybe even overturn the, 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 the vote of the House. But I think that this is a good thing. Now, people, I'll say this. Just because they, they, they make it law and it's a piece of paper, don't let that piece of paper decide the way and how strong of a committed relationship and love you're going to have with your partner. That piece of paper shouldn't change the fact that you love and share a bond and a commitment with the one you're with. So people, get it together. Jersey Raven wants to know what you think about this. I holla, get it together. Leave a comment, post, rate, and subscribe. I would love to get a comment, a video response from Y2TV. Love your show. I would love to get a video response from DLBBCO, better known as my boys. Holla. ADTV, I see you. Please give a nigga a video response. Poundcake99, I feel you. I know you got me. But I'm going to leave this one in y'all hands. What y'all feel about that? Holla. Get it together. Mwah. Peace and love. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Once again, this is your boy, Jersey Raven. Got another something I want to share with y'all. Did y'all hear about that little teenager that ran up a $12,000 phone bill? Shout out to my people at PrideRadio.com. Once again, I'm going to read this article word for word because I ain't messing up. Ish. Check this out. A teen racks up a $12,000 phone bill. The unidentified teen enjoyed 384 internet sessions at a total cost of $10,686, while also amassing other charges through 373 calls and more than 500 texts. Now, bitch, you need unlimited calling, unlimited texting. Heffa, you can call AT&T, AT&T.com slash wireless. Get you an unlimited plan, bitch, you dumbass. An 18-year-old Australia has racked up a $12,000 cell phone bill through two months through two months of national call, text, and internet services, a company official says. A spokesman for the Telstra Communications Company said that the unidentified teen enjoyed 384 internet sessions. What were you on them porn sites? At a total cost of $10,686. Now that was some expensive coochie and some expensive dick. Get it together. While also amassing other charges that, that are through 373 calls and more than 500 texts, the Melbourne Herald Sun says it in its Friday edition. Julie Wentworth, an and, 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 angelic Angela Care counselor called the teen's phone bill ridiculous. Bitch, it's more than ridiculous. It's stupid. Her phone need to be shoved so down for her damn throat is coming out her ass. We are dealing with the generation who feel they can't get by without a mobile phone, Wentworth said. You damn right. If I ain't got my phone, I'm dead. Shit, I know that feeling, but I ain't running up no $12,000 phone bill. Get it together. Some don't have enough self-control, but it was ridiculous the bill got that to that point. Uh. Wentworth told the Herald Sun that the teen somehow managed to convince Telstra staff to revive his phone account after being disconnected when his bill reached $2,000. People, let me tell you something. Those people down there at um, Telstra... Y'all need to be fired because once his bill got up to $2,000 and it was clear that he wasn't going to pay it, y'all should have cut the shit off and unplugged it and decellularized it or whatever y'all do to cell phones. Hit the damn button and disconnect his shit. Get it together. Mwah, peace and love, y'all. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Ahala. Rate, comment, and subscribe.